Hi everyone, welcome to the Tiny Herd where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today's video, I'm going to be reacting to all of your guys' enclosures again. So I had you guys send me some of your enclosures to review, so we have some for guinea pigs and bunnies today. I'm just going to keep doing parts in this series as long as you guys want to keep sending them in. So you can email them to me at any time, and when I have enough, I'll just put another video together. So let's just go ahead and jump into the enclosures that I have for today. So the first cage we have here is for two male guinea pigs named Templeton and Wilbur, and it is a 3x3 three three size CNC cage, which is a great size for two piggies. Overall, this looks like a nice setup. They have Heidi's, they have water, they have a water dish and a water bottle it looks like. They have their hay. They have a nice little covered area in the corner, which is nice as a Heidi, and they have some toys in there. So overall, this looks like a really good setup. I like that you use the smaller pads in the areas that they probably use the most often, like underneath their hay. The only thing that I did notice is it looks like there is bits of like other things in their pellets, and normally the healthiest pellets don't have any added bits because those things are generally just full of sugar. So I would maybe look into what pellets you're feeding and think about switching to a healthier brand, but as I said, I don't really know what brand it is, so just something to think about. But overall, the actual cage setup itself looks really good, so good job on that. Next up, we have a 3x4 CNC cage for Duke and Waffles. She said that they have pillowcases clipped around the outside of the grids right now because Waffles is a baby. So that is a good idea. If you weren't aware, baby guinea pigs actually can get their heads stuck in standard size CNC grid holes. So that is a good way to block those off so that he can't get hurt. Overall, this cage looks really good. Honestly, you guys send me cages and sometimes I have no anything that I would add. I like your DIY Heidi's. They have hay, they have water, they have plenty of places to hide. You're using fleece and it looks like you're using it correctly. There's like smaller pads in some areas that they use the most often. So this looks really good and obviously a four by three is plenty big enough for two piggies and it's nice that you're giving them extra space since they are males. Even if they weren't males, more space is always better if you can possibly give it. So good job on this cage. This one looks really good as well. All right, next up we have a bunny enclosure area. So this is for Oreo the bunny. And this looks like a nice little setup. He has everything he could want. I like that he has his own little space in the corner. He has his little bed, a nice little digging box, got his litter box with hay, the water bowls in the corner. He's got a comfy rug and some toys. This looks pretty good. I would only add that he needs somewhere that he can run and hide, but I noticed that that box looks like it actually has a hole cut in it, so that is nice that he also has a hidey. A lot of bunnies also just kind of get used to being out in the open when they are house rabbits, so that's not a huge deal. It's also great that he is litter trained. The only thing that I would even mention is to consider getting him a friend because if you didn't know, rabbits generally do much better in at least pairs because they are social herd animals. But other than that, the actual enclosure area itself looks really good and it looks like he is a happy little bunny. Okay, and then we have another guinea pig cage here, and I'm just going to read some of the details that she sent me because it has to do with this setup. So she said she has one female guinea pig called Penny. She gets unlimited Timothy Hay veggies daily, an eighth of a cup Timothy Hay based pellets, and healthy treats. Her cage is a Midwest cage that she expanded against the wall to make a double size. She also gets two to three hours a day of free roam time and 30 minutes outside on the grass daily, which is awesome. So she did say that her guinea pig is alone, but she did say that she knows it is supposed to have a friend, but her parents won't let her get one. So that is something that I come up with a lot with comments on my channel that people know that they need to get another guinea pig, but their parents won't let them. So that is just something you kind of have to work around and do the best that you possibly can to give your pet the best life you can when you can't control, you know, the expenses or what pets are allowed in your house. So that is understandable in those situations, so just keep talking about how you need another guinea pig and maybe eventually your parents will come around. But overall, your cage looks really good to me. 
it, the size is great for one guinea pig. It looks like she has places to hide. There's an igloo and a tunnel. I see a hay bag and some toys. And then um, it looks like you're using towels as the flooring, which will work fine. You might just have to change that out a little bit more often than if you were um, using like cage liners, but towels will work just fine. People use that as the absorbent layer for if they're using fleece. The only thing with the towels is I would just make sure that she is not chewing them, which I'm sure you would have seen if that was an issue at this point. But your cage looks really good. It's a good size and keep on doing the best you can for a little penny. Next up, we have two female guinea pigs named Maple and Willow. They live in separate cages because they do not get along. So the cage under the table is Willow and it's a two by three CNC cage. And then the cage on top of the table is Maple and it is a Midwest guinea pig habitat. So both cages have lids to keep the cat out. She said she uses fleece and towels and guinea dad liners. And then they have a lot of enrichment toys and that sort of thing. They get floor time three times a week and that is the basics of these two piggies. So looking at these enclosures, they look pretty good, especially when they only have one piggy in each one. It looks like they have everything they need. It's a really good idea to have the lid on them if there is a cat. I don't really see anything that I would add. I see hay and pellets. There's a water bottle. They have cozy beds. They both have places to hide. The only thing, and I'm just gonna point this out because this is just something that I recently learned. I don't give my pets anything that's made out of loofah anymore because if you've ever like seen loofah, it's actually a sponge. So if they chew that and get a larger piece and swallow it, it's literally going to puff up like a sponge. Like I haven't tested it yet, but somebody said if you take loofah and put it in water, it's going to just like puff up. So I'm going to try that sometime. But for now, I just don't give my guinea pigs anything loofah. And I just noticed a couple toys that have that. So that might just be something to look into, but your cages look really good. You did a really good job for both of them when they can't live together, making both of their cages nice and enriching for them. This next cage is a 2x4 CNC cage with a 2x2 loft, and it has two 9-month-old female guinea pigs in it, so that is a great size for two piggies. This is a really, really cute setup. I really like that fleece print. They have everything they need that I can tell. I see plenty of places to hide, some toys, some veggies, pellets, two water bottles, hay. There's plenty of places to hide. I think this is a really good setup. I would be really interested to know if your guinea pigs are litter trained or if it just contains the mess upstairs because my guinea pigs, I've just had no luck with litter training and I'm jealous of people that can. One thing I want to mention, and it doesn't really have to do with your setup in particular, but when I had a ramp from guinea pig cages store, so like the ramp that is on this cage, I would put a towel on it sometimes because the whatever coating is covering the floor, like that carpet or whatever it is, Georgie would slide down it in our cage and was basically giving him rug himself rug burn on his feet. So that might just be something to keep an eye on. I don't know that all piggies would do that because my other pigs didn't seem to have issues, but Georgie would literally give himself rug burn on his feet with that carpet. So just something to be aware of, but your cage looks really good. It's a really good size, great setup. I'm sure your piggies are very happy with it and you have the added bonus of making it really cute. So good job. This next enclosure is for a rabbit named Jasper. They said he used to live in the cage for about a month, but they managed to persuade their parents to upgrade his enclosure to 21 square feet. And they said, sorry, it's probably not pretty to look at, but I'd love your honest opinion. First off, good job getting your parents to let him have more space. He, I'm sure, is already much happier having that extra amount of space to get out and stretch his legs in. He just looks like he has way more room to move around and honestly if he got really excited he could even do a little mini bink in that space so great job on that it doesn't matter how pretty or cute your cage is i promise your bunny doesn't care my rabbits spread shredded paper around all the time they don't care how cute it is 
This enclosure looks pretty good. I like that you managed to like combine the cage with the new enclosure area. I can see he has places to hide and a tube, a couple of toys. There's hay in there and a litter box. I'm sure I probably just can't see it, but I don't see like a water bowl or anything. So if you use a water bottle or I just like can't see it, a water bowl is usually better for rabbits than a bottle just because they drink so much water. And the only thing I'd say about the hay is honestly, if it was me, I probably wouldn't even use that little hay feeder. I would just put a big pile of hay on the floor of that cage since it already has bedding in it. And he'll probably use that as his litter box. I don't know if you have hay in his litter box, but that tends to be where they go to the bathroom the most. So that might be an easy thing to do. The only other thing I would say is maybe have more toys to like switch out to give him something to do since he is alone. I'm going to assume that since your parents barely let you expand his habitat that you probably can't get another bunny. So I would try to make it as enriching as possible, especially if you're not able to give him any playtime outside of that cage. Just get him as many toys, interesting things, and then kind of just like cycle them out so he always has something new, some new variety, new things to play with. So overall, good job getting him upgraded. This is a good size for him to live in. He can stretch out and hop around a little bit, so not too bad at all. Thank you for sending this in, and I hope those suggestions help you out a little bit. Alright guys, and last enclosure for this video, we have a 5x2 CNC cage that is the home of Aspen and Apollo. This is a great size for two piggies. They said that they were still young, so they're constantly making a mess, which is pretty much what all piggies do, but this is a great size for them, and you don't have any issues with baby pigs with those type of grids, so that is great. It looks like they have everything they need. I see Heidi's, places to hide, there's hay. Um, it looks like you're using fleece. The only thing that I'll say about that is from these pictures, it looks like it might be that kind of minky fleece and it looks like you put some towels maybe on top of it. In my experience, that like softer minky fleece doesn't really wick. So if you're finding that your cage is staying wet, I would try anti-pill or blizzard fleece instead. It actually wicks instead of um, just the liquid sitting on top. So I'll, I'll link my video down below on how fleece works if you are new to using fleece. But it looks like they have everything else they need in their cage. I see a water dish. They have hay. I see their pellets. They have places to hide. I like their little short loft. That's really cute with the cover on it so that they can't jump out. So that's really nice. So overall, this cage looks really good. Just that one tip about the fleece, but good job. All right, guys, so that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, keep sending me your cages, and I will just put another whole video together when I have enough cages to do that. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!